With .race 5.5, a new feature was introduced called subsystems. This feature offers a new way to analyze snapshots in terms of subsystems, instead of having to dive deep into call stacks. The subsystems view gives us a quick overview of where most time and resources are spent during execution. Allow me to demonstrate. .trace comes with a demo application which I will run and profile using tracing. Tracing gives us a good balance between accuracy of the profiling results and execution speeds of our software. Once we are confident we have gathered enough information, clicking the Get Snapshot button opens the collected data in .trace and allows us to investigate performance. On the left, there are still the traditional views of the application execution. We can view this application execution by thread, by method, using a plain list and so on. We now also get a view per subsystem, as can be seen in the center of the screen. We can easily see in which subsystem most resources are utilized, in this case Windows Forms. Subsystems can be organized in different profiles. We can select the profile we want to use, as well as edit profiles and create our own profiles. For example, if we want to create a new subsystem which will list classes and method calls for system.web, we can add that in the settings. Do explore the new subsystems feature, as well as the other new features in .trace, such as bookmarks and the new hotspots algorithm, and let us know what you think about it.